Hey Megalithomaniacs, so here we are at the remarkably ancient site of Bonchoclutala. And this dates back to up to 13,000 years old. The archeologist has given us special permission to come in here and have a look around. So here we are at the remarkably ancient site of Bonchoclutala in the Mardin district, although it's much further west, sorry, further east than Mardin. It's closer to Midyat, about 45 minutes from Midyat. Here is one of the excavations. Now we're here, the archaeologist has given us special permission to come in here and have a look around. And this dates back to up to 13,000 years old. They say around 12,000 officially, but there's dating now that goes back to 13,000 years old. And what's interesting about this site is the name, Bonchoclutala means beaded field or field of beads. And they found over 100,000 beads in this area. It's kind of how the site got discovered. It was really only a few years ago it really got discovered in the last decade or so, or a couple of decades. And since that, they found about uh, 40 burials. Most of them are found actually under the 30 or so houses or residential areas. And they found six or seven kind of communal or ritual buildings. One of these or some of these have standing stones. And there's also a half a porthole stone has been found. Now it's all grown over at the minute, so I'll show you photos, uh, videos, when it wasn't so badly covered, but now it is. And you can see one of the enclosures right behind me here. There is the porthole stone. Look at that. That is absolutely incredible. So that is very interesting. We've just taken readings of the orientation. Now we're gonna find out if there's anything specific about it. And then you see these giant megaliths. These are incredible. These are some of the earliest megaliths on the planet here at Bonchoclutala. See these towers which would held up the roof. This is similar to Grief Filahoyak, which is not too far from here. Absolutely incredible. And we have another enclosure here. With large stones lying around. Well, it was incredible to have this opportunity to come here to Bonchoclutala. We saw everything we could. We saw, got special access with the archeologist to look at the sunken, kind of enclosure that had the four pillars and also with the uh, remarkable hold stone which we think could be the earliest example of a window a porthole stone perhaps with astronomical significance so hope you enjoyed this we're going to be coming back here next year you can join us check out the link below for the tour details hey megalithomaniacs here we are in Mardin in eastern Turkey and we're at the uh, city museum because there's some incredible artifacts and pieces here from sites such as Bonjoklutala and others pre-pottery Neolithic um, areas even though this is much further east than the main Taz Tepela sites uh, this is still an important area because there's lots of sites that are even older than Gebekli Tepe, older than the Taz Tepela sites along the Tigris River, which is to the east of the Euphrates where most of the other sites are based around towards the west. So let's get in and take a look, see what they got. So even just coming into the museum here, we've got this stunning view with these beautiful pieces from one of the monasteries here. And you're just looking out over the landscape there. It's really quite stunning. Okay, so this is it. This is the artifacts from the amazing site 
of Bonjoklu Tala. Now this is along the Tigris River, talking older potentially than Gebekli Tepe and all the Taz Tepela sites. And this whole area seems to have some very, very ancient um, connections here. Behind me here is one of the most interesting pieces. You can see it's like an upright piece of green stone with a hole drilled through it. And it's some kind of creature. And uh, this is one of the famous pieces actually from the site. There's lots of beautiful jewellery. We have belts, belt buckles, engraved bones, ornaments, buttons, earrings, lots of different miscellaneous objects to, to, that show evidence of religion, aesthetics, death, the afterlife, and so on. We also must consider there was bone inlays here, which date to the 9th millennium BC. We even have two spider motifs on bone plates, amongst other things. Um, and so, 10 of these belt buckles have been unearthed. Some have holes in them, um, and some one was actually found on the pelvis of a skeleton in a grave, so it was almost like pinned actually to the actual skeleton itself. It appears they were using serpentine, limestone, chlorite, sandstone, bone, obsidian, phosphate, turquoise, copper, malachite, pebble stones, and they were creating animal motifs such as the bullhead, like a, a bucranium, deer, leopard, wild goat, pendants, and other such things, birds, scorpions, and everything else. And interestingly, these are, are what we find later at sites like Gobekli Tepe. And so, was the influence coming in from the Tigris, from the far eastern area, heading down, and then that influenced Gobekli Tepe and other sites? Or were they two contemporary cultures, you know, part of this great civilization? So one of the considerations of sites such as this and these artifacts we're seeing here is a switch from hunter-gatherers to settled life because this was during the Younger Dryas. This is the cold spell. This is the kind of dark spell, like part of the Ice Age that we're actually finding here. Um, they were actually building these sites like this one, Cortic Tepe, potentially some others that have been unearthed in the area as well. And so what does that mean? Does that mean they were actually uh, developing agriculture and animal husbandry in the, pr in the kind of Ice Age, in the Younger Dryas Zone, not just after it, like Gebekli Tepe, which was a couple of hundred years after the end of the Younger Dryas. So this raises a lot of questions as to the origins of agriculture, the origins of civilization, really, especially in this part of the world. And so we're seeing a whole culture of what I call a super civilization going back to pre-pottery Neolithic times. Okay, so we're just leaving Mardin Museum and wow, I mean, the, the artifacts from Bonjoklu or Bonkoklu Tala were incredible. There's a, I put in a few photos of some of the things we just managed to quickly see upstairs. This like, it's the pre-pottery Neolithic stuff we're really here for. We're really trying to locate the sites, get to them if they're, if they're available to see, get close up photos and footage and explanations really of the artifacts. So I hope you enjoyed our quick visit to this amazing museum. It's one of the most beautiful areas I've been to in Turkey. And this is like Eastern Turkey. It's a whole different vibe to Istanbul and other areas. Even Shanil Erfa is quite different to that but it's got this christian side it's also got a more modernistic side so it's been updated as such but yeah it's an amazing place so thanks for watching megalithomaniacs hope you enjoyed this quick trip to mardi museum we'll see you next time